We're celebrating all things hip hop in this episode of What's Good Africa. We're coming to you from Zuzi Park, where the get down is going down. We're yeah. talking B boys, DJs, graffiti. And we're also speaking basketball MCs, and I'm interviewing Dope Chick. Queen of Hip Hop, Corinne Onyango. I'm about to head off to Buru to catch up with Brooklyn boys doing it for the culture. Yes, and that's what's up. The Queen of Hip Hop, Corinne Onyango, has held the title as a top radio presenter in the country for more than 10 years now, bringing versatility and great knowledge on things hip-hop both locally and internationally. Her voice is highly respected in this field. Title as the reigning queen of hip hop for such a long time. Yeah, I love it. But how um, do you just do it? I mean, there was an open space, so I just grabbed the opportunity. I love that. What do you mean, open space? I how mean, was this open? I, how did this open space come to be? Oh no, let me not say that because there were definitely predecessors yeah. before me who nailed it. Yeah. So it was easy to be like, I can see the floor to you, right? It was yes. like running a relay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's been great. What? But, but you know what? You've had more than 10 years on that same spot. Yeah. You know, and when someone says the name Corino Nyango, mm -hmm. you're like, okay, first, let's put some respect on her name. Because you've <laughs> well, held that title so. for a long time. No, I or mean, it's, it's just, there. You me. <laughs> yeah, like you're my peer, and we've been in the industry literally the same time. Yeah. And there's a power to your name. So. Well, I, well thank you. Yeah, I, I'm curious to know how did it all begin? Just take me through it. I thought that I was gonna go back to school, but I'm stuck in my job, I love it. Okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's, it's fun, it's, um, it's engaging. Like every day is a different day. Like why would I, I don't know. This is just what I was built to do, I guess. I see, but why do they say, now this lady is our reigning queen of hip hop? You know what, I've always been a hip hop head. Like, I literally don't know how else other people are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see what you mean. I was raised on MTV, uh, then it turned into VH1, turned into Trace, tur Channel O, like, I've been hey, through, yo. Channel O, yes, yeah, so we have something in common. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. And right? speaking of, uh, you know, your, your job and manifestations, if I can say, mm -hmm. On a particular interview, you said, first of all, I am ready for a child. I did. You know what? My aunties still, they're like, you you brought it. You, you made it happen. Yes, you I'm did. like, I don't need a husband. I just want a kid. You did say that. <laughs> I know. Yes. So my parents are like, it's your fault. It's your fault. You did this. But you know what? It's the best life ever. OK. My son's the best thing that's ever happened to me. In some cases, some people may feel stuck in their work, but for you, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like it's a conscious decision I mean, to I, be doing what you're doing right now. Yeah, but I do hope to progress. Like, I feel like if we've done this for this many years, yeah. I can't just keep being the same way until I die. Like, what's next? I see and I'm ready to climb whatever next hill, whatever mountain, whatever happens, I'm ready to embrace it and want the challenge. Sometimes we always want to move on to the next thing so yeah. quickly. Yeah. But with you, there's a way you hold it with some grace. Do you know what, I grew up with, the like I started with Homeboys Radio. So I want to see it progress. I want to like bring the company with me. I want I to go see. on that journey yeah. with the company. Got you, Yeah. I feel you on that. And also, girl, let me tell you another issue. Oh, what? And for me, it's an issue. What? And I get scared sometimes, but I've had to do what you've had to do in your career in the sense of, you know, picking up music from artists. And especially you having a hip hop show. Yeah. And this artist, some of them are pretty young. And yeah. they're like, they're so, you know, happy to just have their songs played on the yeah. air. And then you have to be like, no, this is not it. Yeah. And yes, this is it. I'm giving it a thumbs up. So how do you do that? I don't think you can give people false hope. 
If gotcha. it's good, it's good. And it's not just me who's gonna say it's good. Yeah. But if I know it's good, then you can, like, I can vouch for you. Yeah. But if it's, you know, if it's weak, I'm like, okay, go back and work on it and come back. It's gotcha. the hardest part of my job. And how long did it take you to, you know, develop that um, aspect of knowing this is what good music feels like, this is what good music sounds like? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a trick question. <laughs> but you do because you can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can tell if you're trying too hard, you can tell if your producer's just overproducing. Like, there's many things that have to just work at the same I time. See. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, that, it's not easy to be a successful act. Octo had it, Callie had it, Boutros had it. I mean, hey, <laughs> I like that confidence. Like, yeah, yeah this yeah. one had it, this one, yes. Yeah, yeah that's you why. Can, you can just tell. You're either a star or you're not. Okay, I love that. <laughs> and also, um, we have, you know, you coming from such a multi cultural background. Oh, I got enough slap. Yes. Why you talk like that? No, no, no. No opinion. No, I mean, <laughs> Nairobi is also a very cosmopolitan area. True. So I feel like it's also part of the culture. So you come to work in this market with all that experience of how you grew up and all that you've seen in the different cultures. So how has that helped you influence, how has that influenced rather like your perspective of work? and you know your interactions with other people even to how you bring up your son you know what i don't because i've moved around like i don't think that it comes down to a language or i mean hip-hop is literally universal yeah like you can listen to rap music from anywhere but so you long feel as it. yeah you, you yeah. catch that vibe there's some power in being not just black but being like hip-hop being rap what do you um, wish to leave behind as a contribution to this industry that you've been a part of, that you have loved, gone through the motions and the like? Urban music gets a really bad rep, right? Because we talk about sex, drugs, liquor, yeah. you know, like it gets a bad rep. Yeah. But if you really listen, and now even if you're an old school hip hop head, you don't understand what these young cats are talking about, but it's literally a commentary on our world today. Like, I see. if I'm trying to talk about Zannies, that's because everything else around me is sucks. basically that, yeah. yeah. So I that's see. why I'm into drug culture. I think you can read between the lines. I think it's a very intelligent platform. Yeah. So what you want basically to leave behind is, you know, um, the understanding of what that, what yeah. all that means in the space um, of where they're coming from, rather. Yeah. You know what? As much as I like old school, yeah. I think that you have to pay respect to new school because these are new circumstances. It's like, like you're writing from not something you've heard before. Okay. So I think that you really have to respect the new school. Gosh. I'm here for the kids trying to do it. Nice. I like that. It's almost, let me say, seven years yeah. down the line. Yeah. How has it been? How could you? How can you say this is my journey as Corinne? This is where I'm at. This is how I'm feeling as a woman, as a mother, as a career person, as a boss yeah. woman. I think you have to make the change, make the leap, and like I don't regret anything. Nice. I don't know how to like everything. Maybe hasn't been intentional, but I don't regret a second. What yeah. are we looking forward to? I think I just want my audience to grow. Um, I think I've already preached to the choir. <laughs> I see. So what's beyond the choir? You know, like I think that people who tune in now are now converted hip hop heads, but I want to talk to people who are R&B listeners or soul or like older or too stuck and young. Like I just want my audience to grow. So you have tattoos just like me. What yeah. do yours mean? Okay. Um, I've got a couple, but okay. this one I think is the most significant one. Right. Um, it's flowers, but there's six of them because there's six of us in my family. So oh, one nice. represents like <laughs> every member of my family. Yeah. Oh, bless. Amazing. <laughs> and what's this arrow? Is it an arrow? Oh, yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh, look at you so dramatic. Like, oh, no, I got no, no. this one done at like midnight at a club. <laughs> it doesn't look like it, Corey. Like, no. 
<laughs> but anyway, that's it. Thank you again, Mama. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. Oh my gosh, you're so nice. Um, there's a game going on and all. You want to go check it out? Yes. Let's go check it out. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> One thing about Corrine is that she's very confident and intentional about her journey. And she wants to make sure that certain aspects of hip hop are understood here in the country. Boys is a group of young rappers who represent Eastlands with a drill style of rapping. Their swag, style, and delivery has earned them fame and recognition in the world of hip hop. Some of their hits include Kwani Nikesho, Nairobi, among other hits. You know what I like the most? It's the identity. The one thing that first of all just gets everyone's attention. I see Brooklyn boys on the t-shirt. Apple got the bandanas, like. My t-shirt. Mm -hmm. When it comes to hip hop culture, in, I don't know even in Nairobi, in Kenya, everyone knows Buru is where hip hop culture was birthed. Sindio? Yeah, so now I'm like, you guys, I'm going to come from a place of all this culture, and then you guys are doing drill. I'm like, the first thing I wondered is like, how did you land into? Why drill? Or drill chose you? I'm an Yaji. Drill ni chosen, yeah. I'm a Kubali too. Kobola ni recognize, ah. Mini big boy uno. Cause it's his bado, una kangwa ata kome visha judo. Yeah, but then it's true. Yeah. Very few people do drill. Now, some comments I could see from a long time ago. I'm a... uh, from a long time. I think uh, four years back, at before, I was able to skia. To me, take to your time. Mm -hmm. Na practice, na learn everything, yani. Certainly, kitu will come to Moja. Yeah. How did it all start? Okay, to me, grow up in Moja. In Guinea, to me, in Right, to me, in 2018. As in Oku, in the same way, I'm a rapper, I'm a rapper, I'm a rapper, I'm a rapper, I'm a Brooklyn boys. Right now, as Brooklyn boys, how many are we talking? <laughs> five, eight. Five, eight. Five, eight. Oh, okay. Five, eight. Five, eight. I like it. I dig it. I dig it. Large number. Large number. Nzima is vs Mbaka CBD. Ndombo give me visha drill. Two, five, four, two, nacha, four, six. You guys are all about representing a culture of Buru, basically, yeah? So, like, what are some of those aspects? Definitely dress code. You will stand out in all your videos. Absolutely. Aslan. Grinding, grinding. And I've seen you guys on IG, Mudrop Ma Freestyle. This is an everyday thing. You're in New Kutana and you just like sit together and start working on tracks. I'm a, what's the process? I'm a wimbo, I'm a patana because I'm a good I'm a I'm a good I come through Kwangoma. Out of curiosity, Nanali come up with the name Brooklyn Boys. Number Uno, oh number Uno. Oh <laughs> uh huh. Mm. Okay, so you're, you're like the kind of ringleader. <laughs> Politically correct answer. Yo, but before my son now was a ski joke on an African boy. Please, a baby girl, took on my up. Will you be willing to glide? The Kunar is the size, important price, you know, no more from Balalai. Of late, kill them to on social media. Everyone saying it. Nikama when I own, everyone saying, "Hey, Kwani Nikesh." I mean, yes, these words you know, exist, but you guys are the ones who made that phrase popular. And now everyone up and I say, "How do? You, how does that make you guys feel?" I do Nikawa na for the trend. Yes, lang kona na nsa mani angu mi. Until come up now, you get to freestyle. You know, same. By the way, see, 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 to clear up the air to work a meaning, what's, what's the meaning behind your phrase? Today, not tomorrow. Leo, 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 Atasai. Atasai. But in this case, I'm going to be able to do the same design as well. That's why I'm going to be able to do it. Speaking of slang. That's why I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, oh, Manambli, and I was like, huh, what, what's that? <laughs> Manambli. Fools. Manambli. 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 Did I use it right? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mukwa active, kwa gang, says you fold Yo, what's something, yo, chunga you don't get splash with cones Yo, what's something, yo, chunga you don't get splash with cones Aye, what's something, yo The cool thing though is Vile Kwani Nikesho has become such a popular thing It's also made a lot of people find you guys and find your music So, how's the reception been, Squeezy, like with the, everyone's response to your music? Thumbs up your response is best, son. Na pia si tu napema fans. Good music, good music. Exactly. Yo, listen. Yo. Kwa nyumba mimi ndo Buddha, baby girl, na follow the rules. Favorite, favorite, ano na ne kau na njua mi na rap your hood, hood me pull up. So, as in, guys, this is the thing. Your music is hot. What's the one I check? Obviously, there are people who love it. But because it's Kenya and also because it's art, kunase watu kaku kuwa emulate like him. Some will even try to copy your style, right? But niko shua may identify maybe some people who you you want to positively influence or or follow in your footsteps. You get you get what I mean? Like to make the music you make as good as you guys make it. Do you have, kuna any artists which you you're trying to work with on that? I'm a right now it's just. Us. <laughs> right now it's just B-Boy. It's, it's, it's B-Boy's time. You want yeah. to lift it up and make sure. I want your sound. Kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And, and even your, your recent gig. Hmm? How was that? Boom, shut down business. <laughs> best, teleco best. Koli hata pole. Pole, pole. Tulipo nyo tanonane style. Tanonane. Mate kunikoro kia love potion. Tuna hit a kora mail views. With no promotion, nah, not kwa kwa lab. Mina dention ma explosion. Tuna hit a kora mil views. With no promotion, nah, not kwa kwa lab. Mina dention ma So if a mainstream rapper comes through us, I I wanna do a collab with you guys. That means defend ni nani. Oh, okay. But atuna rush ya kufanya tinga manam. Exactly. What's what's the biggest thing that you guys are currently working on? Just is it Kutora two more tracks or are we planning to do like a mega album, something? Best answer. Wezi ndi makara tili Walwacha kula moto squeezy wana catch my feelings Cho ni kawa fiki kau twisit na daishi link Kwa hiko mkwet ni tricky trace yo kwa kwa upiki And so like when it comes to like even making two tracks ordinary in Zate how long to put together? Depend pia ya unajwa pia nataka uko kwa yo modu kyo kwa yo modu ayo Shit na come through Mi kamia i prefer writing Mina kika kwa ndika Alafu naenda na i paste kama Boom Peter kiu na force, kuingia studio, na kuingia studio kwa koma drugs. Tafaba, na kura kitu tafanya kuingia studio kwa koma drugs. By the way, that's that's a really cool thing, cause a lot of people, from what you see on TV, una dani, oh, I'll just go, una drink, smoke, do whatever, lafu na kuingia studio na chapa. That's that's not real. Yeye ni kuchacha na utaingia studio kuna kitu tafanya, uta make ngoma ya ufala. No, no. Make a good mock you are sober. Kuna, this, this thing that you have in your songs, like, like one of my favorite lines was, because uh, my sheng is terrible. Um, I know in English the translation is roughly, uh, I'm not a carpenter, but I drill. Pigalin, I'm not a carpenter, but I drill. That. Boo. And then you see, there's kuna to this everyone akuna on this very nice laid back level. Akuna rapana jaribuku outdo the other. Like that's that's a friendship thing, a, a chemistry thing. Ama seme ya go hard kongo maake itanifanya ni go hard kongo maangu nana. Ama kovasi ya gama ngo menye tuko aki go hard mi lazima ni go hard. Man ki go hard lazima ya go hard. Muna push each other. Mifanya tu akua tukafika hapa hii design. Vele sayi tuna rap, tunaza sema tumeme step, step, step. Sa tumeigisha tuseme, seme hivu. Double trouble, do a strong. That's what's up man. So, 
this this is what has gotten you guys already to this platform and now it's even about to go even further everyone needs to know about buru brooklyn boys all over africa and even the world that's the plan right i do my aliens for that to you these guys are about their business they're about their music they're about their art but they're about the culture and that is the thing that i big you guys up most for maze mna rap mna rap buru in such a dope way self made niggas self made tano nane up in the building are you familiar when you're doing it for the culture it's not about competition and it's definitely not about showing off it's about pushing yourself and each other to make sure that you present your most authentic and best self that is what's good about brooklyn boys tano nane remember that Being queen of hip hop Karina Nyango is super unapologetic about her journey and choices she's made in her career. You know what? Shout out to the Brooklyn boys for owning the drill sound and pushing to make that a movement. More power to you guys. Exactly. And thank you so much for watching What's Good Africa. Kenya edition 3. We shall catch you next week. Bye bye.